hello, my name is elise drews. i'm the principal at anderson elementary school. i'm ms. gore, assistant principal here at anderson elementary school and i'm mr. bereszuk, the assistant principal of anderson elementary school a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step the road to improvement is a continuous journey and we are very excited to share our journey with you during our last accreditation visit it was noted to us that the data was rich but the information was poor we accepted the challenge and we're excited to show you the growth we made this year so what does this look like at our school you're going to observe win time which is what i need our students are grouped based on the skill that they're learning that week we have goal setting which we call goal getters ask our students what their goal is and they'll tell you we have data binders in each of the classrooms where students can talk to you about their progress. Data walls where you can go up to the focus collaboration room and see that our teachers are talking about data and are helping our students grow. And then we have bulletin boards which is an extension of their learning that has student feedback on it. We're really proud of the progress we've made over the last two years and we're even more excited about the progress we'll make as we move forward to carry out our long-term goals that align with our go district goals. Students monitoring their own progress. Inquiry-based learning. Differentiated instruction. And of course, one that we're really excited about that we've added just for our school, which is school, school culture. culture. And now, join us for a tour of Anderson, Anderson Elementary School. School. Hi, today I'm Judy Manabusen, and this is Vera Elliott. We are the co-chairs of the continuous improvement process here at Anderson Elementary School. We are excited for you to see all the great and wonderful learning that is taking place here at our school. Our goal is to foster lifelong learners, starting with parents, faculty, and staff. Together, we strive to create a healthy culture by helping our students to reach their goals to be star learners. So please sit back and enjoy a short look at our amazing journey. Bye. Vision. It's a term that we've been talking about since last school year. If you asked us what we thought the word meant, we'd probably say things like sight. Image. Avenger. But if you ask us now, you definitely would get a different response. Imagination. Creativity. Cleverness. Collaboration. Growth. We'd like to share our vision with you. A vision of what our values are as a school. A vision where all stakeholders come together to inspire, motivate, and nurture the leaders of tomorrow. Our teachers and leaders use data and input from a variety of sources to make sound educational decisions for learners and staff members' growth and well-being. Leaders promote action research by professional staff members to improve their practice and advance learning. Leaders regularly evaluate instructional programs and organizational conditions to improve instruction and advanced learning. Learners' diverse academic and non-academic needs are identified and effectively addressed through appropriate interventions. With support, learners pursue individual goals, including the acquisition of academic and non-academic skills important for their educational futures and careers. Learners' progress is measured through a balanced system that includes assessment both for learning and of learning. I, uh, this is the data binder. I use the data binder to help me track if I'm doing good in school. After every single quiz or assignment, we, we go into the data binder and we record it. 
I like about AES that the teachers make math fun and they get to learn more reading and writing and math. I like cleaning up, um, doing science, um, and playing on the floorboard in the starting class. I love Anderson Elementary because they grab each individual student's strengths and get to project them in many, many different ways. So much hands-on learning, so many activities that they get to do, and parents get to be involved in so much of their child's academic success. AES students experience curriculum and instruction that emphasizes the value of diverse cultures, backgrounds, and abilities. School students collaborated during specials to honor our veterans in a Veterans Day celebration. Students sang patriotic songs, performed patriotic marches, and created artwork for the Veterans Day performance. AES learners have opportunities to realize their learning potential. We set goals and we meet them. We can get what we need in win time. AES learners can be creative, curious, risk takers, team players, and designers. In our PBO, we discovered habitats and animal adaptations. We had to become authors and create a story of a fictional animal that could survive in our assigned habitats. The best part was presenting our information to Ms. Ball Hodges' kindergarten students. They listened to our stories and asked some, some good questions. We learned so much. AES learners are responsible for their learning. Choices during learning centers. You see, this was my fourth one that I did, and then my second one, you see, we did and then we uh, don't see what What I love about fourth grade is that in the morning we do fact dash and then we get a study multiplication with other classes. What do I love about AES is I love um, um, our I can statements. I love all the teachers and all my friends. We get to meet new people every year. I like doing. Uh, I like the. I like doing the centers and I like um, helping people and I and we learn the three R's. What I love about second grade is that the teachers always find a way to make learning fun.
start each day with a grateful heart. The best companions between your ears. I am a lifelong learner. Come check out our bulletin board in the Dolphin Atrium to read about AES, Students' Growth Mindset Journeys. We can be responsible by staying on task and completing our work in a timely manner. We are ready to learn. We can show respect by listening to the speaker. I can be responsible in line. Hi, I'm Liliana from Ms. Sun's class. I received the AB Honor Roll at our fifth grade's award ceremony. I'm Sia. I'm also from Ms. Sun's class. I received the A Honor Roll at our fifth grade's award ceremony. I'm Kira, another student at Ms. Sun's class. I received the A Honor Roll at the fifth grade award ceremony. We love school. My favorite subject is science. Yes, we do. My favorite subject is ELA. Yes, my favorite subject is math. What I love about third grade is that you have to have, you can have Alex tomatoes, and that means that you have to follow the three R's and you will get a prize for it. I love working with the kids, providing them transportation, to get to school safely, and I love working with the staff. I love how everyone's really friendly and kind. What I love about fourth grade is the big projects to do. Hi, what I love about AES is location of the school, the friendly teachers and staff, most of all, the PTO. Thank you. So there you have it, our school in a nutshell. There's been lots of ups and downs, lots of highs and lows, lots of growing pains. But the key part in that line is growing. Lots of growing. We may not be getting it right all the time, but we are trying. Here at AES, stakeholders come together to educate, engage, and empower each student to succeed in a dynamic world. And it's not just us. We're talking about parents, teachers, staff members, administrators, and others from the community. We're all doing the best that we can. That's what we like about being here at AES. It's having the opportunity to get better and be better every single day. It's a shared vision. Here at AES, we are stars. We are successful. Tech savvy. Adaptable. Respectful. Self-motivated. Learners! Half a day and welcome to Anderson Elementary School. The home of the dolphins.